Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Emma, and today I've just finished watching Date no Yusha no Nariyagari, or The Rising of the Shield Hero, episode 24. Uh, my reaction will be on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description once it's uploaded, and all that fun stuff. Um, like the board, it probably won't stay here for much longer. But really, the biggest thought here is what is going on, as, um... Yeah, we learned some things that aren't completely explained, but we, they've, they seem very important now. The episode kind of starts with, for one, um, we find out, uh, Naofumi immediately after finding the dragon hourglass, he teleported himself over to the capital where he talked with the queen and Melty, and the queen quickly recruited the forces and everyone's on ship. Um, like the opening uh, with the battle, that is kind of what went down in this episode. Now, for one, all of them, Itsuki, Ren, Motosuya, th the, the, those three, what were they doing? Like, for, like, let me just get this out of the way. They're supposed to be heroes. They're supposed to, for one, they can attack, so their attack should be pretty good. I guarantee you, now Fumi can do a lot more damage than any of them, and they have pointy weapons. He has a shield, which can do cool stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, and to begin with, they were all like, we don't need to work together. They're pulling their normal, their normal stuff. Like, we're good. Who needs to work together? I'm strong, especially after the Calmira stuff. When they, the three of them together, went to hit whatever the heck that demon whale-like thing was, they didn't even phase it. They didn't hurt it at all. Raptalia does more damage than them. And she's not even supposed to be a hero. She's just adapted and learned that much that she's good and she's stronger than even them. And that is just a big annoyance that I have here. For one, I never liked uh, Motosuya. I don't even, if I'm saying his name wrong, I don't care. I might be saying it right, but if I'm saying it wrong, I kind of hope so. Um, Itsuki, he was always, he was a bit cool. I kind of liked him. I liked Ren a lot more, and honestly, him seeming to be, like, completely terrified of being on this ship was kind of funny, but at the same time, like, dude, you have a job to do. Ships are scary, especially with the thought that there's monsters that's just trying to kill you within the waters, sure, but you're, you can protect yourself, and he only jumps into action once, you know, their plan to get rid of the big guy is, is starting. Um, and ultimately, the ones who take it down are Lark, um, Naofumi, Philo, and Raftalia. Ultimately, um, Raftalia is not as much as the rest, but those are the guys who take down the big monster. At the very beginning of my reaction, I think I mentioned how, like, I I liked Lark and Atidis, but I was, like, scared that something would go wrong, that they would maybe not be on our side. I was just hoping that wasn't the case. <sighs> it, we find out they're heroes for another world, from another world. You know what I mean? And the, the world they're supposed to be protecting is also teetering on the edge and is near destruction. And I'm just like, oh, okay, like, shocked, but at the same time, like, can I get more information? But we don't really get fed any more information other than that, as now um, they're fighting Lark, Naofumi, Philo, Raftalia, and Therese, um, for the most part doing support, but then later doing uh, attack to get them off of Lark. And also, I want to know, um, it, it was kind of interesting, there was a little brief scene where she uses the, um, bracelet that Naofumi made for her, and the attack didn't go through, it kind of went back, and it was just like, I'm sorry, and she goes, so you don't want to attack him, got it, I'll use a different one. That was, like, probably not, like, this super important scene, not that I think of it, but it was, it, it just caught my interest. And before they even fought, you know... He was like, why did why it have to be you guys? Damn, I wish we could have avoided this, especially after you were so kind to us. And 
they were also like, we have nothing against you, but we have to kill the heroes here. And there was conflict, yet they were super ready to just go straight at it. Um, Lark was being his usual, uh, now Fumi called him out on, like, his defense reversing, like, if he defends it, it still, in a way, hits him, and he was just like, yeah, no, that's totally it, he was being super open about it, he was like, I want a fair, fair, de uh, fair, uh, fight, so now Fumi goes and mentions his, um, shields and how he can just dodge or he can use his shields and that won't, uh, hurt him at all, uh, and while this is also being, like, returning, like, oh, hey, yeah, this is what I can do, it's also, in a way, not completely mentioning the all facts, as he uses that, um, second shield, air shield, um, really more for a, a f offense than he does defense immediately after. Um, there was, like, some scenes where, um, you know, I guess, like, did they ever give us the green-haired, uh, soldier, like, did they ever give her a name, like, even, like, a brief flash of it? If not, um, sorry about that, if not, um, that's cool, but I, I would like to know about that. Um, that would be a little bit interesting to find out. Um, but I don't think they did. But she was there kind of like a little bit of comedy as she was, like, dragged through it all. She went to get Itsuki, and ultimately Melty's, like, jumps on the ships, like, take me to Naofumi, now. And so that happens. And so Melty kind of joins in just to block, um, one of, uh, Therese's, um, attacks. Uh, now, here's a big thing. Glass shows up again. Now, Glass, hmm, she's cool and all, but because she's cool, it makes her dangerous. And being dangerous is definitely a good thing if you're on our side, but the minute you're not on our side, it's a very scary thing, and it's... It's a big deal here. We're, we're traversing on some dangerous ground, some scary territory. And next episode, I'm pretty positive, is the finale. As it's literally called The Rising uh, of the Shield Hero. The Rising Shield Hero. You know, like, I, I don't see this turning bad on our side, but I'm still scared, like, like worried for what's to come. And it's, it's a thing, and yeah. Once again, if you want to actually see my reaction, where at the end you can see my confusion, it'll be in the description. But, yeah, that, that's a, pretty much all my real thoughts are on the episode, is that it brings up, like, it, it answers some things, like, who are they? Oh, they're heroes, as well. But it also leaves you with more questions, like, why is it that their task is to kill the heroes over here? Or, and, like, what are their connections with the waves? Um, it, it's just a big ball of confusion that it leaves you with. That's just so out there and really is an interesting thing to think about and contemplate. I do still love Lark and Therese, but it's just like, oh my god, really? No! You guys were so ready. Like, you, now Fumi trusted in you believed in you, and now it's just, you're crushed, because you're like, technically, there are enemies. And yeah, I, I wouldn't really say I'm worried for how the outcome of next week's episode's gonna go, but I am a bit scared, in a way. I also just don't want it to end, is really another part of this, I believe. Um... But yeah, that's, that's that. And, um, no. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode, uh, in the comment section below. Because, um, you know, I'm really interested. Once again, I'm sorry that these review type things, like, like these thoughts type things are what I've been uploading instead of reactions. I really am just being overly cautious because, seriously, Fruits Basket, like, at most made me have to blur line one episode and now I'm just like, I've two strikes, I'm not risking a third, even if I could possibly fight one of them, I'm not doing that, um, but yeah. Seriously though, let me know your thoughts, uh, I wish my laptop didn't break, because then it would at least be better quality redirects, but my laptop 
broke and tragedy struck. I'm currently going through summer school over freaking chemistry. I'm a stressed out person. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I genuinely forgot that this episode even came out today. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, thank you for putting up with me and my nonsense. I don't understand, but I'm grateful. Uh, I'm just gonna go and end this now. Hope you have a great day or night whenever the hell you're watching this. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Um, and if you want to see more of me, subscribe if you wish. Um, I will always be here. Um, I will probably put as a video uh, whatever your preference is, like whatever it recommends you. Um, and I will probably maybe um, put up one to a random playlist. If not, then it's probably just my subscribe. And if so, wow, I'm so uncreative. But yeah, see you guys. Hope you all enjoy. Have a nice day. Bye.